Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. To God be the glory, Facebook, blog. We thank God for you. We are New Creation Church. We thank God for the opportunity to come to praise God together once again in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. And if you're breathing today, and I know you are, you wouldn't be watching if you was not. I'm breathing, and I'm going to praise God. Hallelujah to God be all the glory. He is so worthy to be praised. I know we're going through a lot. I know there's a lot happening as we watch even what transpired uh, through the protests and everything going on in our world that's chaos and out of control. God is still sovereign and he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. God said he came that we might have life and he wants us to have the abundant life. So as we pray, as we pray today, we're asking God's hand and blessings to be with us for this time we have together, for God to come into you and your space in your home, to be there, a present help in your time of trouble. Amen. Amen. So let us go before a holy God and pray, because he said, come boldly in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, and we are coming boldly today in the name of Jesus. God, we, we know that, hallelujah, God, everything is not working uh, according to how we want it to. But, God, we know that you are able, you are sovereign, and in the name of Jesus, we came expecting. We came expecting better. We came expecting believing. We came expecting boldly in the name of Jesus. And, God, you said without faith, it's impossible to please you. So we came with the spirit of faith on today. In the name of Jesus. God, some are turning to the wrong things like drugs and alcohol. But we're turning to heaven. In the name of Jesus. God, you're going to give us a peace. You're going to give us a power. You're going to give us prosperity. In the name of Jesus. So we're praying to that God. God, you said through your son Jesus, if we pray in his name according to your will, it will be done unto us. And we're asking according to the name of Jesus that you moved on this worship service, God. Hallelujah. God, we know in the name of Jesus that you are going to do a work that nobody can stop. You open doors that no man can shut. In the name of Jesus. And you close doors that none of us can open. So God, we're going to surrender to you. We're going to submit to you. We're going to say, yes, Lord. Not just with our mouths, but with our hearts. In the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Karaboshata. Rashele ekaba. We bind up anything that's not of God. We take authority right now in the name of Jesus. Any distraction, anything trying to pull us away from our destiny, anything in the name of Jesus trying to delay, hallelujah, what you have ordained for our lives in the name of Jesus. So God, we're looking to the hills from which cometh our help. Our help comes from the Lord. You said the gold is mine. You said the silver is mine. The cattle on a thousand hills belong to the Lord. Some put their trust in horses. Some put it in chariots. But God, we are trusting you on today. We're trusting you for healing to these bodies. Oh my God, I felt God right there. If you need healing on today, it's made available through his grace. In the name of Jesus, somebody is in need of a miracle. During this pandemic, you need a miracle from God, and he's still in the miracle working business. Come on, yeah. to God be the glory. And somebody just need a solution to their problem, and you're in the right place at the right time, and we are calling on a holy God to do the impossible in our lives. So God bless this service. Holy Spirit, we give you permission to have your way. Have your way. Move not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of the living God. We give God praise today. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah to God be the glory. Well, we're going to go into song. Hallelujah. It is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. As the Simmons family, we are yeah. celebrating today. Amen. Kayla is officially graduating. Well, she's been graduating all week long. <laughs> she is in the class of Rutgers 2020. Yeah. And today is, quote unquote, the climax, the big one, uh, if you will. And this is the end of many uh, small celebrations leading up to this one. Yes. They have a great keynote speaker. They have so many things uh, in line for her to celebrate her, even as we are doing it virtually. And we are uh, celebrating Kayla on today. We are so proud of her as her parents. Hallelujah. She worked hard and diligently, and she's about to come in song. Amen. 
to get ready for her day in the name of Jesus. So we are celebrating, we are praising for that. But whatever you find in your heart and mind to praise God for, join in with her in song, amen, and give a reason to praise God. Yes, Come on, Kayla, hallelujah. in the name of Jesus, you, to God amen. be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. hallelujah. Our God is greater. Hallelujah. Yes, yes he is. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank praise you, your Jesus. name, God. You are worthy, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Mm. Yes. Come on. Mm. Come on, thank you, Jesus. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. No one like you. I got it straighter. I got it stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. I got it healer. Awesome and power, I got, I got. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Water is turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. No one, no one. None like you. Into the darkness we shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. None like you. I got it straighter, I got it stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. I got it healer, yes, awesome and power, I got, I got, I got it greater, I got it stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Come on, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God. Our God. Our God is greater. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop yes. us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Then if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Then if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against us? And if our God is with us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against us? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us?
Today, amen. We welcome you to New Creation Christian Ministries. Amen. We welcome you to New Creation welcome Christian everyone. Ministries. Amen. Acts chapter 1. Amen. Thank Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. On this Pentecost Sunday. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Where the Holy Spirit showed up mm -hmm. in the church. Yes, amen. He did. Hallelujah. And filled all of those. Who were in assembly. Come on. Acts chapter 1. When you have it, please stand. Uh, Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. And then we're going to go to verses 7 and 8. Then we're going to go over to chapter 2 just briefly for four verses. Amen. Acts, chap Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. The former trustees have I made, O Theopolis, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. That's right. Somebody say, I am chosen. I'm I am chosen. chosen. I am chosen. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Come on. Not many days hence. Jesus. Verse 7, And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times 
or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. That's right. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the othermost part of the earth. My God, thank you, Jesus. Chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Yes, yes. Let's flip one chapter over. Speak, God. Yes. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues, like as a fire, hmm. and it sat upon each of, them. each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues Jesus. as the Spirit gave them utterance. Wow. Let us pray. Father God, we praise your holy name. Lord, we yes. worship you and we magnify your name. You are worthy to be praised. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for this time, oh God, that you have allowed us to assemble together. And Lord, we pray, Father God, that you will have your way. Use me, your woman servant, for your glory, God. Speak to the hearts of those who are listening, oh God. Somebody needs to hear a word from you, oh God. So Lord, I ask, Father God, that you, Father God, uh, prepare the ears of the listener. Oh God, as they hear this word on today, oh God, I ask that you save souls, change lives, set the captives free, encourage the discouraged on today, oh God, give hope to the hopeless, oh God, Lord, you know, oh God, the plans you have for us, and Lord, we ask that you manifest yourself in our midst on today, you said we're two or more gathered in your presence, that you shall be in our midst, oh God, so Lord, we thank you for your presence, God, we thank you that you're with us, oh God. We ask that you even, Father God, do some signs, mighty signs and wonders yes, and miracles, yes. oh God, through the preaching of this word, oh God. And after your, your Holy Spirit comes in, we ask Holy Spirit that you come in like you came in on the day of Pentecost, Jesus. that you fill us, that you fill every listener, that you fill every person in assembly on today, God. Fill, fill us, us again, oh God, fill again with your spirit, fill God. Fill up. us with your power, fill oh God. Today. Fill us, oh God. Hey, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Lord, after it's all said and done, we will be ever so careful to give you and you only the glory, the honor, and the praise. And it's in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, that we pray. And let the people of God say amen. 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 As you take your seat, just pat yourself on the chest and say, it's the God in me. It's, it's the, the God, God in me. me. All right, now. It's, it's the, the God, God in me. And me. It's Pentecost Sunday. And as you see from the scriptures, Pentecost Sunday is celebrated as a result of what happened in Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, where they were all assembled together on one accord. And the Holy Spirit came in, as Jesus said in Acts chapter 1, that the Holy Spirit will come in, like a, and the, the Holy Spirit will baptize them. They will be baptized with the Holy Spirit as promised by God. Mm -hmm. And, and, and so, so, so I wanted to read the scripture and the text as a background so that we as Christians can be informed as to why we celebrate a day such as Pentecost Sunday. Now, that being said, I'm not here to exegete the scripture pertaining to Pentecost and all those things. I'm here to prophetically give you a word that God has given Amen. me. Is that all right? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said, uh, when I talk about uh, the God in me, I talk about uh, the fact that, 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 yes, we have received power. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. As Christians, uh, all of us as Christians have received the Holy Spirit. Uh, somebody say, I got the Holy Spirit. I, I have the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. In the old church, they called them the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And now, now we are so afraid because people get intimidated when you start talking about spirits and ghosts and things that they say, nature. But 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 we got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. old saints want to say, somebody might want to say, I got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing 
diluted, nothing taken away, not, no power that's been stripped away. He's still operating in the fullness of his power. I got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I remember when I was a child, I was uh, attending a school, Newton Street School in Newark. I grew up in Newark, and as a child, uh, uh, we would have find this little hallway during recess, and we would be in this little hallway, and I wasn't, I didn't go to church a whole lot, but every once in a while, I would go down to a storefront church that was in the front of, downstairs in my building, and I would sit in the back of the church, and I, I would watch the people in the church. I, I love going into that little church, because, you know, it was a lot going on in the world, as it is today, and it was a lot going on in my family, as it is in a lot of your families, uh, and, and I needed some place to go just to just to chill, you know, just to get away, yeah. amen, so I would go down to this little church, and, and I would sit in this little church, and, and, and the people would the, just be so excited about God, I, I love church, I love church, anybody here love church, yes. amen, yes. so the people would so be so excited about God, so I, I picked up some things in that little church, so, so, so I was in, we would be in this school, during recess and I would be there with my friends and, and, and we would be playing church and somebody would be the preacher it wasn't me <laughs> and somebody would be uh, 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 the, the altar worker and I would be the, the member amen hallelujah up at the altar and I remember being there and being in that hallway saying ah oh, I got the Holy Ghost I got the Holy Ghost oh I got the Holy Ghost and I, we would be just laughing and joking about the Holy Ghost not even knowing what the Holy Ghost was um. But even then, isn't it amazing how even sometimes playtime can be prophetic? Come on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, even those days back then, I was prophesying way into my future because today I truly can say, ah, I got, I got the Holy, the Holy Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For real. So, anybody, so the Holy, anybody else can testify you got the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the Holy Ghost does not come, the Holy Spirit does not come just to make you shout and quiver. You know, even though there is a shout, come on somebody, even though there is a quiver, even though when you, when you get into the presence of God and the Spirit of God comes upon you, you can feel God, my God. Anybody ever feel God during your times of prayer? You know, I want to challenge you when you pray to press in. Uh -huh. If you said, no, I'm not feeling God or I'm not feeling God enough, I want to challenge you to press in. Press in. Some of us go in and come out too too soon. We go in like we're taking the shower, 10 minutes, 15 minutes shower. Amen. And sometimes it's too fast. Sometimes God will say, I want you to stay with me and sit with me a little bit longer. I want you to come deeper into me. I want you to come deeper into my presence. On, I don't want you to come, come halfway up the mountain. I want you to be like Moses and come on. All the way up the mountain. Jesus. Moses went all the way up the mountain while other people stayed down at the foot of the mountain. And God is saying, I don't want you to stay at the foot of the mountain. I want you to come closer to me because there's some things that I want to deposit on the inside of you. There's some things that I want to strip off of you. There's some things, hallelujah, that I want to uh, do in your life and I want to share with you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to put my glory on you. Amen. When we spend time with God, he puts his glory on Jesus. us. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. God wants to put some oil on you. Come on. You here. know, how we oil and like lotion ourselves down after a shower. Amen. When we go into the presence of God, he oils us down. That's Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. He makes us shine. God says, I want to make you shine. Amen. Hallelujah. Because after all, you are my witness. Amen. Not only are you my witness, but you're my daughter and you're my son. Yeah. And I want to make you shine. I want people to see my glory on your life when you go out into the world. I want them to know that you are a difference maker. I want you them to know that you belong to me, that, that you are different. Hallelujah. Jesus. And that's what the Holy Spirit sure. comes into our lives to do. When we get saved, we get the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's Hallelujah. Right. Yes. Yes. And the first thing that the Holy Spirit does is changes your DNA. 
Come on, teach me. The Holy Spirit comes to change your DNA. So so that what you used to be, you're not anymore. Jesus. Hallelujah. There's an old song that says, I know I've been changed. Uh, anybody know you've been changed? Uh, hallelujah. You're not where you want to be, but you thank God that you're not where you used to be. Come Amen. on, here. Hallelujah. Come on. You might say, I used to be a drunkard, but, but no, thank more. God for the Holy Spirit. I used to be a, a whoremonger, Preach but it. thank God for the Holy Spirit. I used to be a, a loose woman, but thank God for the Holy Spirit. I used to be confused in my mind, but thank God for the Holy Spirit. No, I used to be scared, but thank God for the Holy Come Spirit. Come on, Preach. The Holy Spirit came into my life and gave me courage. The first thing the Holy Spirit does is comes in and he changes your DNA. He, 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 he changes you from a child of the world and a child of your mother and your father only but also to a child of God. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, Instant. yeah. You Instantly. used to be a child of the world, but now you're a child of, the, of Come God. Come on, Pastor. You used to be a child of the world, but now you're a child of the Most High God. Yeah, Jesus. yeah, yeah. You're, you're somebody different. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know how long it is since you've been saved. And you might say, you know what? I'm a work in progress. I still curse. Uh, I still I still get mad. I still uh, get people attitude. I still get people my behind to kiss. Uh, I, I still want to have my way. I'm selfish. Uh, I won't submit to the authority of God in my life. I still have a long way to go, but I want to tell you something, baby. That does not mean that God has not changed your DNA. Yeah. Yeah, God, 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 God is inside mm. of you. You have God the Father who's in, over all of the heavens and over the, all the realms and the spheres and over all of the atmosphere. Then you have God the Son who was God in flesh and came down the earth and walked the earth, amen, hallelujah, amongst men so that he was visibly seen by all. And then you have God the Holy Spirit, amen, who is God in your flesh. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God the Holy Spirit who is the God in you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it's yes. the God in you that's making you into that new person. It's the God in you that's telling you you don't want to drink anymore. It's the God in you that's saying you want to be celibate and hold out until Come marriage on, and not have sex. Uh, my God, in every relationship. It's the God in you. Hallelujah. That's telling you to be a high achiever. That you can do better. That there's greatness on the inside of you. Because there is. It's the God in you that's pushing you and won't let you quit. It's the God in you that made you get up out of the bed this morning with all hey. the hell that's going forth in the earth realm you right now. It's the God in you that won't make you, won't, won't let you throw in the towel. Amen. The God in me. Somebody shout, it's the God in me. It's the God in me. It's not me. It's, it's the, the God, God in me. Amen. Yeah. Wow. Hallelujah. It's the God in you. And greater is he that's on the inside of you than he that is in this world. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh huh. Yeah, I know it's a lot of things going on in the world, but God is greater in you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God comes to change your DNA, and, and that's what he does. He, the Holy Spirit comes to live as God on the inside of you to begin to change you. Mm, this is good. And it's a gradual process. It takes time. You have to receive the, 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 the work and the working of the Holy Ghost. Somebody said, don't resist the change. Don't resist change. Uh -huh. God wants to change you for your better. Uh -huh. He wants to change you to prepare you for everything that he has in store for you. Yeah. Yeah, God God wants to change you so he can release all of the blessings that he has for you. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants to change you because he's going to bless you and he does not want the blessings to destroy you. Come on. Hallelujah. God wants to change you. Hallelujah. And all you have to do is let him. My God. Let him. E even as I remember my childhood and I reflect on my life, I was a hot mess. <laughs> Just a hot mess. And guess what? God's still working on me. Yeah. I'm not a hot mess anymore, but I can still be a mess. I can still get go from zero to 100 if you catch me on a day that I forgot to pray. Come on, somebody. I can still uh, lose my temper. Hallelujah. But but I thank God that he's still working on me. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and I remember being so angry. Before I got saved. 
And, and after I got saved, uh, I, I remember that God began to tell me to put down the stuff that I was relying on uh, to help me to cope with life. I remember God telling me to put down the alcohol and to put down the weed, my God. I remember God telling me, no, you're not going to have a different man every two and a half to three years, but you're going to be stuck with one man for the rest of your life. <laughs> I was like, say what? <laughs> God, you're kidding, right? But, but God was making a change in my life, amen, and I had to receive it, yeah. The only way that change was going to work was if I did not reject the change, now, now I kicked and 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 fought against some of those changes because some things I just didn't want to give up. Mm -hmm. But but the closer I got to God, and the more that His plan was revealed in my life, the more that I realized that God was changing me for my better. Mm -hmm. Who am I talking Jesus. to? Hallelujah! I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. Have you ever been there, sick and tired of being sick and tired, sick and tired of going through another bad relationship, sick and tired of, of, of waking up depressed, sick and tired, Hallelujah, of feeling like you have a whole lot of problems and no answers. I was sick and tired, and I, I was like, God, there has to be a better way. And I didn't even know God, but I remember coming home from partying one night, and I had my pumps in my hand. I had been dancing all night, drinking all night. And I remember coming home, and I'm walking up the stairs to my apartment, and I'm like, I'm like there has to be a better way. And I'm going to tell you that God hears the prayers of the, the, the ones who are, those of us who are not saved. Because that shows God that we're ready for him to step in. Come on, somebody. Mm. And we're ready for him to step in. Come into our lives. Step in and show up and show out. You know, shortly after I prayed that prayer, I met Pastor Anthony in the Vanity Club. And he comes to me at the end of the night, after we danced all night, and came to me talking to me about going to church. Come on, somebody. And that was the beginning of the end of, of my misery. That was the beginning of the end of my frustration. That was the beginning of the end of me having problems that I did not have solutions for because God, through his Holy Spirit, came to live on the inside of me, changed my DNA, and began to change my life. God in me. Come on mm. and praise God because you got God in you. It's the God in me. It's the God in me. It's not me, you see. I know they sang that song, it's the God in me. It's the God and they say, it's not me you see standing here. Hallelujah. But it's God. Hallelujah. It's God. Mm. I can't even think of the artist of that song. It's the God in me. Mary Mary. The Mary Mary. It's the God in me. So, 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 he changes your DNA. But not only that, but the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit, Jesus says, you shall receive power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you. The Holy Spirit came, comes upon you and you shall receive power. That word for power, we already know it is dunamis. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, it's dunamis. That dunamis power, that's miracle working power. That's that strength like no other. That's the strength to endure, my God, hallelujah, while God steps in and, and begins to bring you solutions, amen, that while God makes a change, while you're waiting, my God, some of you are waiting for some breakthroughs in your life, you're waiting for breakthroughs, hallelujah, and, and, and everything around you is trying to make you quit, the world is trying, hallelujah, to get you to turn back to drinking, to go back to drugging, to, to, not, uh, to, to not keep walking forth with God. But you got to know, hallelujah, that you got dunamis on the inside of you. You got the power of God working on the inside of you. And that's why you can't quit because you got the fruit of the spirit of perseverance. Uh, the work of the spirit produces fruit in your life. Uh, the Holy Spirit produces fruit in your life. Yes. Uh, love and peace and joy, uh, and perseverance, long-suffering, uh, hallelujah, faith, uh, hallelujah, my God, self-control, come on, that's what God is doing in your life, 
your life. Huh? That's what Pentecost is all about. Pentecost, Pentecost is not just a shout and a dance, huh? but Pentecost is about the miracle working power of God operating in your life. Huh? Pentecost is about huh, empowering you huh, to go through life huh, no matter what you yes. have to go through. Huh? Pentecost is about allowing you to stand huh, when your marriage seems to be falling apart. Huh? Pentecost huh, helps you to have hope huh, when your children are acting like stone cold fools. Huh? Pentecost huh, is about getting on your knees and praying huh, when the devil Preach. is telling you huh, it ain't no use for you to do that. Huh? Pentecost is about holding on huh, to God's unchanging hand huh, and not letting go of his hand. Huh? Pentecost is about saying that weeping may endure for a Jesus. night. Huh? But I know huh, that joy is coming in the morning. Huh? Pentecost is about holding on huh, for your breakthrough huh? because you know huh, that God is coming huh, to break you out. Pentecost is about praising God in the middle of the storm. I'm talking about miracle working power. The power of Pentecost. Mm. There's been a personal Pentecost. It's not a day, but it's a personal experience. It's, personal. it's a personal Pentecost Ooh. that takes place in the life of every believer that will receive that will take hold of, uh, that will grab, uh, that will take for oneself uh, the power uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, come on, somebody, and give personal God some praise. Uh, I'm having a personal Pentecost. Uh, don't worry, this is personal. Come on, it's personal with me, baby. Uh, that's why I'm so excited about Jesus, uh, because it's personal. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody this shout, it's personal. This is personal. Come on, type it in the Facebook Live. It's personal. Mm. Shout it in your living room, your bedroom. It's personal. It's personal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, God. It's personal. He empowers you. The Holy Spirit is the God in you, and he empowers you. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, that's power. Hey, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. The next thing that the Holy Spirit does uh, is he edifies you. Huh? Hallelujah. He begins to build you. Huh? Oh, glory. Hallelujah. He not only changes your DNA and gives you power, but he begins to build you up huh, from all of those broken places. Mm. Huh? See, see, people don't understand. I didn't just pick up liquor huh, because I like the taste of it. Huh? I didn't pick up the weed huh, because I just wanted to. Huh? There were some issues in my life. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there were some issues in my life huh, that I could not cope with. <laughs> and they were deep-seated issues. Huh? And God had to, uh, oh glory, before God, <laughs> I ain't, I didn't have nothing else. Huh? I ain't have nothing else. Huh? I did not have another solution. So I did the best I could. Huh? And I medicated myself. Huh? Growing up in Newark. Huh? Being a little black girl from Newark. Huh? Hallelujah. Uh, there was a lot of, of things that I had to see and endure. Huh? Uh, being somewhat dysfunctional in my home life. Huh? My God. Hallelujah, meaning that mom and daddy uh, did the best they could to stay together, but eventually they split. Uh, so I began to miss my daddy. I begin to look for love in all the wrong places. Oh, God. Uh, so I was doing the things that I knew to do. But so I was broken from a lot of circumstances. And then I began to be broken, hallelujah, from the solutions that I was putting on top of my circumstances. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I bind up every distracting spirit. 
No, 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 no. Let it go. In the name of Jesus. I bind up every spirit of distraction right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to get this word out. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I had to be built back up from my broken places. And that's what the Holy Spirit is doing in your life. The Holy Spirit wanted me to tell you. God wanted me to tell you that he's building you up in your broken places. My God, those places that you can't tell nobody about. Come on here. Those broken places like with the ashes. Those broken places that you're hitting deep down on the inside. Those broken places that you thought you had to live with for the rest of your life. No, 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 baby. It's not over until God says it's over. You don't have to live broken. You don't have to live busted. You don't have to live disgusted. God has sent the Holy Spirit to live on the inside of you. To bring you out of your broken place. Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth was the grandson of King Saul. That's right. Yes, he was was, huh? and Mephibosheth, huh? well, there was a war going on, huh? and they were trying to kill them, huh? and his nurse came and grabbed him up huh? and tried to carry him, but she dropped him, huh? and he was crippled, huh? and both of his feet, Jesus. Huh? my God, huh? and he went to live in Lodabar, huh? I came to tell you. Watch her, who you depend upon her, to carry you. Everybody is not equipped her, to carry you her, to your next. Her. There is a next for you. Her. There is another level. Her. There is another dimension. Her. And God has assigned people her, to carry you her, to your next. Her. It may be an apostle. Her. It may be a pastor. Her. It may be a mentor. Uh -huh. It may be a spouse, huh? or uh, 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 it might be huh? a best friend, huh? but look around you, huh? examine your circle, huh? because everybody huh? is not equipped to huh? carry you, to, carry you huh? do it. to your next huh? You might wind up, huh, watch it. Huh. You might wind up huh, crippled huh, because they may make a mistake huh, or maybe not make a mistake huh, because you got some people who are even haters and, and like Ooh. Saul huh, tried to kill David before David could get to his Come next, on and, preach. and Saul was throwing javelins huh, at David trying to prevent David from getting to his next. Huh. So they, they, they either way, huh? whether on mistake huh? or intentionally, huh? there's some folk huh? that you're depending on huh? to carry you, huh? and they're not equipped. Huh? They don't have the capacity. Woo! They don't have the oil. Preach, huh? They don't have the anointing huh? to carry you to your next. Huh? You got to know huh? where is huh? the person, huh? where is the tribe, huh? who is huh? assigned to me. Huh, to carry me. My God, my God. To my next. Whew. Come on and give God some oh praise. Oh my God, that's good. Yeah. Who has the capacity God to carry me to my next? Not everybody. If you're in a toxic Ooh. relationship, that ain't the one. Toxic. That ain't the one, baby. My God. All you do is complain about Boo and Bay and what they did wrong, what they didn't do, how they didn't do what they were supposed to do, and how they disappointed you, how they cheated on you and lied to you. That ain't your next, baby. Mm. That's not even your now. Hallelujah. Preach. That person doesn't even have the capacity to be in your life. Why are you wasting your oil, casting your pearl to swine, allowing people to be in your life? That God already gave an expiration date. Come on, somebody. To what? Come on. Come on, somebody. Oh, Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. God's building you. Mm. The Holy Spirit comes to build you, to edify. That's what Ephesians 4 talks about. The edifying of the body. That's why he gave us, God gave us, Jesus uh, gave us the ascension gifts of the apostle, pastor, prophet, teacher, and evangelist. For the edifying of the body. Help us. 
Hallelujah. Mm. For the building. And the Holy Spirit comes to also build us. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. Because God is rebuilding the walls of your life. God is rebuilding the broken down places of your life. God is rebuilding everything that was broken in your life Ooh. that he has use for. Some things have to be demolished because God had no use for that stuff. Come on, somebody. And some things had to be broken. Don't go and mend a broken relationship when God said it's over. Jesus. Why are you going back to the vomit? That's like a pig uh, that's been cleaned up going back to wallow in the mud. Hello. It's over. God, said, God mm. says, I'm rebuilding you. Ooh. That was something you looked to when you had nothing else. But now you have my Holy Spirit. Now you have power. Now you are able to sustain. Now you can wait and, and wait for my best. Come on, somebody. Jesus. Wait for God's best. Wait for the best. Wait for God's wait best. Wait for the right one. Stop jumping in and out of relationships and wait for God's best. Stop settling for less and wait for God's best. I told you I came with a prophetic word. I'm just speaking what God has given me to speak. Amen. Wait for God's best. Stop just getting into a job or going into a business deal because you, you want to make money. Wait for God's best. Hallelujah. My Come God, on and praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He comes to build. Real good. The Holy Ghost comes to build. Oof. You know, and when the Holy Ghost comes to build you, hallelujah, and you get built up in your spirit, you get to a point where oppression is not an option. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You get built up in your spirit, you get to a point where oppression is not an option. No more. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. That's why you have so many people standing up right now uh, over the, uh, the the death of this, of this young man. Hallelujah. And they're going crazy in, in Washington and, and all around oh, the world. Oh, yes. My God. Because oppression no longer is an option. Amen. No more. Hallelujah. No more. Those, with, those who are free in Christ are free indeed. Now, now, I believe in peaceful, peaceful protesting. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm tired. like Dr. King. I believe that we should stand up for righteousness sake. Amen. Hallelujah. But there is a way that we should be conducting ourselves as Christians. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, protest. But protest with the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Protest with the wisdom of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will give you wisdom. The Holy Spirit will let you know which protest to go to. The Holy Spirit will let you know how you can contribute to what's going going on and to the solution to what's going on in the world. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit won't let you be oppressed. He won't let you stand and just sit by, hallelujah, while wrong is going on in the land. You have to speak out. The Holy Spirit will give you the power to speak out and at least say something. Jesus. Hallelujah. At least say something. It is wrong, hallelujah, for, for people in power or, or people who have a, a spirit of racism, hallelujah, to kill Come on. black folk, amen, hallelujah, no because of whatever uh, insufficiency or, or whatever is going on in their lives, uh, uh, we are all equal, hallelujah, there is no superior race, huh? my God, hallelujah, the, there is no white superiority, there is no black superiority, or any race in between, huh? Ah, glory, hallelujah. Ooh. God created us all. We all came from Adam and Eve. Come Every, on, somebody. So we all have uh, some of the same DNA. And there is no, no, my God, there is no excuse. There is no excuse Ever. for anybody to take the life of a black man or a black woman because they don't value that life. Ever. Good. Ever. Jesus. And in the same way, there's no right for anyone to oppress you mm. and put, put, put their foot on your neck and try to keep you from moving forward. Jesus. There is no reason 
For you to tolerate somebody trying to manipulate you or control you Jesus. or take the life out of you or make you feel less than. Hallelujah. Oppression is not an option. It will not be tolerated by a child of God. A child of God, even if that child of God is not walking with God. When a child of God walks into a relationship with a person and that person, uh, that the child of God has been nice to that person and trying to be in relationship with that person and even loves that person and that person keeps kicking the child of God, punching the child of God, abusing the child of God, misusing the child of God, lying to the child of God, eventually that child of God is coming out. No more. And it's come, that child of God is going to speak out mm. and lash out. And fight back. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my mom wow. used to tell me, and I have to close, hallelujah. Just good. But my mom used to tell me that she was in a relationship and she had to fight. And I want to say to you, you should never have to fight in a relationship. That's not God. Yes. But my mom, being a younger woman, younger than I am now, used to have to fight in this relationship. And she said this man would constantly hit her. And she said one day he made a mistake and hit her in the kitchen. And she was in the kitchen and, and she said she was by the, she had all that she needed in the kitchen. He backed her up in the corner. And she said over to the right she saw the knife rack. And my mom said she pulled out that knife. And she started swinging that knife. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he started backing up and running. And she started running after him. And he ran out the house. And my mom said that was the last time that he ever put his hand on her. Because she came out. She said, I don't know karate, but I know courageous. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And you done hit me for the last time. And I'm telling you, my dear, ain't had nothing on my mama. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, glory. Oh, Hallelujah. God. I'm not justifying pulling a knife or, or a gun or coming back with an eye for an eye or tooth for a tooth. But what I am saying, uh, hallelujah, that is that you should not stand up for abuse uh, in the name of oppression, hallelujah, uh, or any kind of discrimination, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good, we fight back, we fight back. We fight back in the spirit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This fight battle that we're in, it is not ours. It is the Lord's. But the Holy Spirit equips us to fight. Hallelujah. This water we're fighting, it is not It is not carnal. Hallelujah. Our weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty uh, to the pulling down the strongholds. Uh, we have the power and the weapons of prayer. Uh, we have the power and the weapons of the word. Uh, we have the power and the weapons of hallelujah. Hallelujah. Opening up our mouth. 2020 is the year of the mouth. Open your mouth and protest. Open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and speak out against injustice in the land. Jesus. And injustice going on in your own life. That's good. Come on and praise God. Hallelujah. Because oppression is not an option. Oppression is not an option. No more. It's not an option. Hallelujah. I don't care if it's coming from the White House to your house. It's not an option. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. And finally, as I close, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit comes, hallelujah, to equip. Listen, don't be distracted in this season, hallelujah, to the point where you're not doing your assignment in the earth realm. Wow. Keep hallelujah. Doing, keep working. God has uh, uh, assigned a mandate. Uh, there's a mandate over your life. Uh, hallelujah. Jesus said the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will receive power to be my witnesses. Come on. In Judea and Samaria, hallelujah, Jerusalem, the outermost parts of the world, hallelujah. God has not given you power just for your own personal life, but God has given you power to equip you for your assignment, to equip you for your mandate. Don't let anyone strip you of your power. Don't let anyone. Ah, my God, water down your authority. You got authority. 
in your mouth. Use your authority. Open your mouth and speak forth the word of the Lord. I got the word of God, which is my sword, in my mouth. I'm cutting down every enemy. I'm cutting down every naysayer. Not in the natural, but in the spiritual realm. Not to hurt them, but to stop them from stopping me. Come on, somebody. I will not be stopped. I've been equipped by the Holy Spirit to go forth with power, to be a witness unto Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. I'm not telling you that you're going to be a preacher. I'm not saying go and grab a title, apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist. I'm telling you to get your mountain, baby. What is your spear of assignment? Is it a music label? Is it a publishing company? Is it entrepreneurial? What is God giving you to do? It's time for you to do what God has equipped you to do. Yes, we're in the pandemic. We got the COVID-19 in the land. Oh, I got to wear a mask to go to Walmart and stop a shop. But baby, that doesn't stop me from writing my books. Come on, somebody. Don't let it stop you from writing the book. Don't let it stop you from making the plans for the daycare. Don't let it stop you from building that 501c3 organization. Don't let it stop you from doing your assignment. Don't let it stop you from preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't let it stop you from doing what God called you to do. God called you to do something, baby. Go ahead and do your something. Do the something that God called you to do. Jesus. Do it. Good, do it. Mm. When I was in the world, there was a song. Go on and do it. Do it. Do it till you're satisfied. Whatever it is, do it. Do it till you're satisfied. Whatever it is that God has called you to do. Go ahead and do it, baby. Amen. Because you've been equipped by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You've been equipped by the Holy Spirit. You've been uh, empowered by the Holy Ghost. You've been edified by the Holy Spirit. You've been uh, made ready to take your mountain by the Holy Spirit. So go ahead and do it. You've been baptized. Uh, that's why I love coming together. That's why I love the church. Uh, I love the gathering. They said they were gathered together in one place uh, on one accord and the Holy Spirit came. Uh, mighty, mighty Russian wind. A uh, mighty Russian wind. Uh -huh. Fire. Clothes of fire uh, came down and sat on each and every one of them. Uh, I love of the church assembly because there's a something that happens in the atmosphere. I dare you to get your atmosphere wherever you are conducive for the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive, I receive the, Holy Spirit. the Holy Spirit. Lord, send your spirit. Lord, send it. Send it now. God, I send the wind. I send the wind of your spirit into every house right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I send the fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit, close the fire to sit upon every life under the sound of my voice. I send the baptism of the Holy Spirit to infiltrate every life in the name of Jesus. Flames of the fire of the Holy Holy Spirit, sit on your people. Somebody say, sit on me. God, sit on me. Sit on me. Sit on me now. Jesus. With your fire. In the name of Jesus. Come on and give God some praise. Come on and praise Hallelujah. him. Come Hallelujah. on and praise him.
Thank Somebody you, God. Somebody said, I receive it. I believe Somebody I receive Somebody said, all of that. I receive everything. All of that. All of that. God has given you the power to endure this pandemic. You're still here. Amen. You're still here. You're still alive. You still got fire kicking in your belly, like fire wrought up in the bones of Jeremiah. You still got purpose over your life. You still have purpose over your life. It's not over. There's still a fight in you. You're still going to fight for your future. Not only do we fight, my God, oppression in the land, but we, we fight oppression in the spirit realm. Oh, Jesus. We fight the devil. We fight every demon on assignment. And we declare and decree that not even the devil can stop us. Come on, somebody. Jeez. Hallelujah. The devil has oppressed you long enough. Mm, mm, mm. And now God is saying, fight. Fight. Because I've given you the power to win. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on and praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fight. Fight for your family. Fight for your future. Come on, fight. Fight in the spirit. Come on, y'all got to pray. Come on, praise God. Come on, you got to pray. You got to praise. You got to come to church. You got to stay under the word. You got to keep the stirring up the anointing of the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. Don't let yourself run dry. Jesus. Keep pushing you, into God. the presence of God so he can keep filling you up so that you can keep winning. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just press one. We're going to close out with a general prayer. One is just your way of coming to the altar. I'm just coming to the altar. Put your name in. I'm just coming to the altar. And we're not calling out names on the line, but what we'll do is pray for you later. Amen. Personally, we will. I will take you to my personal prayer closet. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father God, we praise your name. We magnify your name. You are worthy to be praised. God, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise just because of who you are. We thank you, Lord, that it's the God in us, oh God, that keeps us pushing forward. Lord, I thank you for each and every person, oh God, that came to this altar. And I pray for them right now, God. I pray, Father God, for your Holy Spirit to rise up on the inside of them. If they have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I pray for the baptism of the Holy Spirit to be released right now in the name of Jesus over every life under the sound of my voice that they will be filled right now with the power of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for giving them the strength to move forward. I thank you, Lord, for giving them the power to endure. I thank you, Lord, for giving them the edification to be built up. Build them up again from every dry place, every dark place. I speak healing over every life, every life that's been broken. I speak a rebuilding. I speak edification over every life in the name of Jesus. I I speak healing over every emotion, every person that's hurting, every person that's crying, every person that's in depression. I bind up the spirit of depression right now in the name of Jesus. I bind up the spirit of fear. You are not operating in fear. God has not given you the spirit of fear. I bind up the spirit of fear. I release power to you. Dunamis. I release love, a sound mind to you right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray for every person that they will be equipped, that they will go out and do what you called them to do what you created them to do. No boundaries, no boundaries, no boundaries, no limits, oh God. In the name of Jesus, and I declare success over every venture, oh God, over every, every assignment. I declare success over every assignment, your success, good success. So Lord, we thank you and we praise you and we glorify your name. I thank you for those who are being saved, God that are giving their life to you right now. I believe. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe God sent him to die for me. I receive him now as my Lord and Savior. Somebody's praying that prayer. I pray over every person. You're saved. You're saved. You're saved. You're saved. I uh, declare with my mouth. Open your mouth. I declare with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord. I declare that Jesus is Lord. You're saved. I pray over that person right now, God. And I thank you, Lord, for deliverance. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Receive Pastor Anthony as he comes. Amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, my God, what a rich word on this Pentecost Sunday. The fire of God fell here at New Creation Church through Pastor Rebecca Simmons. We thank God for a word that set us ablaze again, 
set our hearts on fire in the name of Jesus. She said it's a personal Pentecost. Yes. Amen. Yes. It is a personal Pentecost yes. in the name of Jesus. And I thank God as we uh, get ready to give in today. Uh, we thank God that that word, she said, oppression is never an option anymore. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You need something? You come back? To God be the glory. Oppression is never an option yes. any longer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She said, don't, don't let religious controllers oppress you. We call it a bad relationship, but that bondage is oppression. And guess what? Even poverty can be an Jesus, oppression. Jesus. The Bible says, given it shall be given back to you. Yes. Good measure, pressed down, yes. shaken together, shall people give back to you. Yes, yes. And poverty can be a bondage in an oppressive spirit. Yes. That wants to keep you bound and down and enslaved. But God wants to free us. My God. Pastor said, you got to fight for your financial freedom. You got to fight for it through tithes, offerings, sowing. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. So we give God praise for the opportunity to give. We are tithers, and I thank God in the name of Jesus that we are part of a church, New Creation Church. Yes. We thank God for every tither, every sower, every giver. We have a faithful group of people that give to God faithfully. Amen. Amen. Because God said he has given us the ability to get wealth. So as you tithe, as you sow, not only do you keep the doors of New Creation Church open, but it's going to be reciprocated back to you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Today, we're moments away from Kayla commencement of class of 2020 at Rutgers University. And guess what, people of God? She has no debt. She has no debt there at Rutgers. Glory be to God. Yeah, I mean, the student loans will be there, but as far as, hallelujah, there's nothing outstanding right now. The whole next year is paid for. Pastor said the whole next year is paid for. Glory be to God. But I'm making that point to say she has completed four years. And in those four years, throughout each year, throughout each semester, God has shown me and her mother and Kayla financial blessings. Unexpected. Financial things coming in a timely manner because guess what? God is true to his word. Yes. It may not be tuition for you. It may be your mortgage, your car note, your bills, starting your business, getting approval down there at the underwriter at the bank. Somebody want to go back to law school, medical school, graduate school. Whatever you need God to do financially, he will honor his word. Yes. He says, bring the tithe into the storehouse. And prove me not that I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. Come on, people of God. My, my. God wants to do it. So we're going to celebrate uh, Kayla graduating today. And we thank God, hallelujah, that God has brought us to this monumental moment. Okay. But there's some, amen, things in your life that God wants to do. The ways you can give into this moment and into the church on the regular, we have a cash app. It's dollar sign, the symbol dollar sign, NCCM Church. Dollar sign, NCCM Church. And you can also give through NCCM Church as well. And if you also want to give another electronic way, it's through our website, nccmonline.org. nccmonline.org. Pastor said PayPal as well. Amen. There are many ways you can give electronically through the ministry, and that's the day and age in which we live through technology. Amen. But I'm thanking you in advance for your seed, for your tithe, yes. for your offering. I'm thanking you in advance that you're helping us keep the work of God moving and going. Amen. Amen. So you're, go you're sowing into good soil, and Pastor and I in New Creation Church want to thank you for your faithful giving in the name of Jesus. So we're going to pray, Pastor, we're ready. I don't know if Deacon is going to uh, uh, be available right now before we uh, get ready to come to a conclusion of our service. But Deacon, if you are there, we're asking you uh, to, to bless. People are giving, and we're asking you to bless this time of giving. Uh, they're looking for jobs, looking for bank loans, looking for mortgages, looking for so many things that pertains to money. And we're asking you, Deacon, to pray uh, for these tithes and offerings as it pertains to New Creation Church. God bless you, Deacon. No. 
Amen, amen. We give God praise for you, Deacon. Thank God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, to God be the glory. So again, um, even as we go down from here, you can still give electronically uh, through those uh, windows and through those uh, sources that we outline as far as the cash app and the online giving as well. Even from this day, as the Lord leads you to give into New Creation Church, uh, we're doing everything virtually right now. Uh, we're out of our building. Prayerfully, we'll be back in the building real soon um, during this pandemic. But until then, we thank God for you viewing through Facebook and you who tune in through Blog Talk Radio. We give God praise for you and yours. Uh, Pastor, I, I believe she's coming back, but she's not coming back. But uh, realize it's the God in you as we get the final benediction. That word was so powerful. It's the God in you. In that fire of Pentecost, Jesus has baptized us with fire and the Holy Ghost. Amen. To God be the glory. So we thank God that that word ministered to you today. Let's give the final benediction and blessing uh, to our Facebook listeners and to our blog. Father, we thank you for today's word. We thank you for today's service in the name of Jesus. Continue to bless your people. Watch over your sons and daughters in the earth realm in the name of Jesus. God, you know what they're hungry and thirsting for. And we believe by faith, God, that you're going to give them that abundant life that Jesus, you came, lived, and died for us to have in the name of Jesus. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, the all-wise God, power, dominion, and authority given unto our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the peace of God be with you and your family, even during these times of pandemic and un unrest. May the love of God be yours hence now and forever. The agape love of God and the joy of the Lord, people of God, let that be your strength. This world did not give us this joy, the Bible says, and this world should not be able to take your joy away. Amen? So keep that joy, keep a praise in your mouth, and we'll see you next Sunday at 1230 to God be the glory. God bless to our Facebook family. We give God praise for you as we get ready to sign off in the name of Jesus. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Hallelujah to God be the glory.